Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, appreciate you guys coming by to check out my little snail. So that was one of the first things that I've ever tried to draw or sculpt in Nomad Sculpt was a snail shell because I have this fascination with snails. And it's just so difficult to make a snail shell. Not until recently, I figured out that the easiest way to do it is just make a tube because essentially it's a tube coiled up. But it took me months and months and months to sort of think, kind of realize that. Actually, I might have tried to, I try, I might have tried to make it from a tube in the beginning, but I just wasn't that great at modeling anything, to be honest with you. Um, not that I'm great now, but I'm a lot better at thinking about how to cut corners, quote unquote, like make things that are primitives. Like I just, I'm a lot better at figuring out how to make things, how to envision things like noses and ears out of just the shapes that are provided, which is very, very useful. Um, and I'm really happy with this, this snail shell. It's way better than the snail shells that I was making earlier on. Um, and after I made this one, I actually made a second one and I had way less points in my, in, in the shell. Like I just sort of made it from the, from the base all the way up to the, the tip. And I just was like curling the, the tube. So I didn't have like, so instead of like 20 points, I had like, you know, 10 or something like that. So it was just a lot more efficient rather than having all those points and having to like maneuver them. And here I'm just making the snail and sort of, I didn't really know how I wanted to do the, the, uh, the kind of like neck crease. And of course he has to fit under the shell the right way. Not that it really has to be perfect, but there's, you know, all those little, all those little problems that problem solving things that come along with, you know, making a snail and having the shell sort of be right. Obviously he's a cartoony type snail, but you know, something, oh, I hated the way I made the mouth here. It was, it was terrible, horrific. I kind of had an idea. Sometimes I have an idea in my head, but it just doesn't translate well into the clay. So, um, I've been making some, some like muzzles and stuff from this like Disney printout of like cartoon like muzzles, I think from Zootopia or something. So I've been making like muzzles. So I've been really practicing like the mouth and the how the lower jaw connects to the mouth and all that stuff. I just, I have a lot of issues with that. It's just very tricky to make it look right and natural. Um, but this one I used the torus, obviously, to make the lower jaw. And now I'm just editing the shell so it fits nicely on his, on his back because I don't want the shell like pressing into his skin, but I also wanted to have, wanted to have like a seamless marriage as though he's like coming out of it. So it's kind of tricky. And I use the flatten tool to sort of flatten the front just enough to where it looks comfortable for him. Comfortable, comfortable enough. Um, and then I just ran out the back of the shell so it doesn't look silly from the other side. Um, but this was actually, this was actually fun. I made a, I made a, a few snails earlier on, maybe like two months ago, and they were ho horrific. They were terrifying looking. Um, so I'm, but I'm getting a lot better. I'm getting a lot better at making sure that I keep the symmetry until I don't want it anymore because I make everything usually fairly symmetrical. And then once everything is symmetrical, then I can make things asymmetrical if I feel like it. And here I'm just making some space down in the mouth. Uh, I mean, I feel like I, I should probably just... Like the inside of the mouth, just make very simple and dark, but I can't help it but to sort of, um, I should, I don't, I should edit this out. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Oh, I think I'm probably messing with my, my phone. The reason why this is silent and I didn't really do it live and stuff because I was watching some, I was watching, uh, my UFC fights on my phone. Cause sometimes I usually like to work and like watch something, but I also want to like make content. So in this case, I'll just record, I'll just record the whole thing and then I'll put something together like this uh, because this wound up being like, this is hours worth of footage. So 
it's not really worth it. It's not really worth playing it step by uh, step by step. I don't think. Although there are some people that do like to see it step by step, but it's just it's the files are so big. This one I recorded in 1080p instead of 4K, and this was a terrible way to do the eyes. Um, so I'm going to wind up doing the way that I originally did eyes, um, snail eyes at least. Uh, when I do the eyes with the lids, which is basically just two different size spheres. So I gave up on this. I don't know what I was trying to do, but it was just looking terrible. So I had to abandon this and do eyes. The, uh, this is actually the first the first way that I discovered to make eyes look decent. So, because I think that because yeah, my my snail was actually fairly cute for being the first snail that I ever. Uh, worked with that I, that I ever worked with that I ever modeled it wasn't too bad and that was the first thing that I ever made in Nomad Sculpt in March of last year so I've only had the app for a little over a year almost a month over a year I think I, I think I first bought it May 2nd or March 2nd of 2021 but I've been putting in a lot of time on it I actually stopped using it for a while I stopped using it I feel like for like four or five months I was just too busy I was doing procreate stuff I was working a lot and it's just you you, ha you just have to you really have to have time to devote to learning the program like it's such a daunting thing to think about learning a new program but I'm glad that I kind of stuck with it and came back to it I, I feel like sometimes it's just the right thing that makes you come back to it um, and I learned it enough to make the Skillshare course, uh, my first beginner's course. Cause I mean, it was, t I, it, I just try to make the videos that I would have wanted to see when I was a beginner. I mean, I'm still a beginner, but, um, a lot of the videos are just made for people that already are, ex are, are, um, experienced. Like number one, like if you can't see what someone's hands are doing, for me, like, I need to be able to see, like, where they're going. Like, I can't be looking around for whatever's highlighted so I know what, they, what they've what they just clicked on. It just doesn't work for me. Like, I'm always, like, a step behind and trying to figure out, oh, like, this is where they went. I just need to see hands. So that's why all my tutorials will always have, like, my hands in there because that's just how I learn. And I just, you know, I usually try to break it down as simple as possible. What am I even doing here? Um, oh yeah, I'm trying to figure out the the mouth. That's always like a, a tough a tough thing for me is where the bottom lip uh, meets the upper lip in like a in like a smile. That's always like a point of contention that I can't seem to like work out for some reason. Um, it was actually decent here, but then when I when I merged it, it was a little weird. So there's the the um. The white clay version which i really like and i accidentally i thought i recorded bringing this over to the donkey which if you want to see me making the donkey i make it in another uh live video but um i just i just brought the i saved it as an obj i think either an obj or whatever that first thing you can save them as and i just uh saved the, the snail and brought it over to the donkey thing so i could put it on them. i don't know why i decided to make them this way i thought it'd be cute if they were kind of looking at each other but the only problem with that is it's hard to like show off the characters because you either have to look in one direction or the other. So so eventually I decide to um, oh yeah I mess with my phone. Eventually I decide to turn this guy around. I have to go back. Apparently his eyes are sticking through the back of his eyelids, um, and they actually are right now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that. I think in a live video. I might do a live video. I'm contemplating doing a live video or working on another beginner's Skillshare class for 3D because um, I want to I want to 3D sculpt a blueberry. I think that'd be fun. So that's what I might that's what I might do. The problem is I I made the snail so small and the donkey head is so big that anytime I'm not. Um, maneuvering the screen like right on this the snail 
Um, if I'm a little bit wider, then it kind of just takes the whole frame and moves it um, because the donkey is so big. So, oh, I lost my pencil, my my uh, Apple Pencil, so I had to use my, my Reserve Apple Pencil, which is actually my beginner's Apple Pencil. I was gifted the second one. Shout out to Joel. Appreciate you. Because um, it's actually a big help to having two Apple Pencils. Um, obviously not really for like everyone, you don't really need it, but for me doing stuff like this, like it would have just taken, and when I'm doing classes and stuff, it's not worth it to take that extra 10 minutes sometimes, or not 10 minutes. It doesn't take that long to charge, but still it really gets you out of your flow. So it's, it's nice to have a secondary one so I can just kind of hop back into it. I like those eyes, but they were like looking too far up. They weren't really looking at his eyes as you can see. So I had to like redo them and make them so they're down lower. So they're looking lower. I'm obsessed with making sure that the eyes are as perfect as possible so they're actually looking at what looking at whatever they're supposed to be looking at, which is not very easy. I have to figure out a way to like paste a a circle. I, and I can't remember how to do it, and I'm kind of annoyed that I can't remember how to do it. So if you want to see the rest of this, um, I continue to work on these guys. I actually just finished doing a little more editing on the snail. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do a live video tonight, and I'll, I'll probably just, like, light this. And the snail will be turned around, so I'll get some, some new shots of of these two. These two, I'm going to do that again too because for some reason when I, when I just looked at it just now, the eyes are again b in f popping out the back of his eyelids. So if you want to see this further, then um, yeah, just go to my live video. And I'm sure I'll have a picture of, a picture of these two on the front. I'll have a picture that maybe I'll make this one one and I'll make the live video whatever I title this, part two, as you can see here, snail and donkey. Holla!